Linux Users Manual, Section 1, Intro. Intro, Introduction to User Commands, Description. Section 1 of the manual describes user commands and tools, for example, file manipulation tools, shells, compilers, web browsers, file and image viewers and editors, and so on. Notes. Linux is a flavor of Unix, and as a first approximation, all user commands under Unix work per precisely the same under Linux, and FreeBSD and lots of other Unix-like systems. Under Linux, there are GUIs, graphical user interfaces, where you can point and click and drag, and hopefully get work done without first reading lots of documentation. The traditional Unix environment is a CLI, command line interface, where you type commands to tell the computer what to do. That is faster and more powerful, but requires finding out what the commands are. Below a bare minimum to get started. Login. In order to start working, you probably first have to open a session by giving your username and password. The program Login now starts a shell command interpreter for you. In case of a graphical login, you get a screen with menus or icons, and a mouse click will start a shell in a window. See also Xterm. One types commands to the shell, the command interpreter. It is not built in, but is just a program, and you can change your shell. Everyone has her own favorite one. The standard one is called sh. See also ash, bash, chsh. CSH, DASH, KSH, and ZSH. A session might go like this. <laughs> Here, typing Control D into the session. The dollar sign here was the command prompt. It is the shell's way of indicating that it is ready for the next command. The prompt can be customized in lots of ways, and one might include stuff like username, machine name, current directory, time, and so on. Uh, an assignment PS1 equals what next, master, would change the prompt as indicated. We see that there are commands date, that gives date and time, and cal, that gives a calendar. The command ls lists the contents of the current directory. It tells you what files you have. With a dash l option, it gives a long listing uh, that includes the owner and size and date of the file, and the permissions people have for reading and or changing the file. For example, the file tell here is 37 bytes long, owned by AEB, and the owner can read and write it, others can only read it. Owner and permissions can be changed by the commands chown and chmod. The command cat will show the contents of the file. The name is from concatenate and print, all files given as parameters are concatenated and sent out to standard output. See uh, manual section 3, standard out. Here, the terminal screen. The command cp from copy will copy a file. The command mv from move, on the other hand, only renames it. The command diff lists the differences between two files. Here there was no output because there was no difference. The command rm from remove deletes the file, and be careful, it is gone. No waste paper basket or anything. Deleted means lost. The command grep from g slash re slash p, which is an ed command, ed is a command line editor, finds occurrences of a string in one or more files. Here it finds Maja's telephone number. Path names and the current directory. Files live in a large tree, the file hierarchy. Each has a path name describing the path from the root of the tree, which is called slash, forward slash, to the file. Uh, for example, such a full path name might be slash home slash ab slash tell. Always using full path names would be inconvenient, and the name of a file in the current directory may be abbreviated by giving only the last component. That is why slash home slash ab slash tell can be abbreviated to tell when the current directory is slash home slash aeb. The command pwd prints the current directory. The command cd changes the current directory. Uh, try alternatively cd and pwd commands and explore cd usage. cd, 
cd dot, which is current directory, cd dot dot, which is the next directory up, cd slash, which is moves you to root, and cd tilde, which moves you to your home directory. Directories. The command mkdir makes a new directory. The command rmdir removes a directory if it is empty and complains otherwise. The command find with a rather baroque syntax will find files with a given name or other properties. For example, find dot dash name tell will would find the file tell starting in the present directory, which is called dot. And find slash dash name tell will do the same, but starting at the root of the tree. Large searches on a multi-gigabyte disk will be time-consuming, and it may be better to use locate. Disks and other file systems. The command mount will attach the file system found on some disk, or floppy, or CD-ROM, or so, to the big file system hierarchy, and U-mount detaches it again. The command df will tell you how much of your disk is still free. Processes. On a Unix system, many user and system processes run simultaneously. The one you are talking to runs in the foreground, and the other is in the background. The command ps will show you which processes are active and what numbers these processes have. The command kill allows you to get rid of them. Without option, this is a friendly request. Please go away. And kill-9 followed by the number of the process is an immediate kill. Foreground processes can often be killed by typing control c Getting information. There are thousands of commands, each with many options. Traditionally, commands are documented on man pages, like this one, so that the command man kill will document the use of the command kill, and man man documents the command man. The program man sends the text through some pager, usually less. Hit the space bar to get the next page, hit Q to quit. In documentation, it is customary to refer to man pages by giving the name and section number, as in man1. Man pages are terse and allow you to find quickly some forgotten detail. For newcomers, an introductory text with more examples and explanations is useful. A lot of new slash FSF software is provided with info files. Type info info for an introduction to the use of the program info. Special topics are often treated in how-tos. Look in slash user slash share slash doc slash how-to slash en and use a browser if you find HTML files there. See also in section 1 ash bash ch shell c shell dash k shell locate login man x term z shell in section 2 wait in section 3 standard out in sections 7 Man Pages and Standards Colophon This page is part of release 4.15 of the Linux Man Pages project. A description of the project, information about reporting bugs, and the latest version of this page can be found at https colon slash slash www.kernel.org slash doc slash man pages. This man page was written on July 23rd, 2015.